Bardo the Doll, Wikipedia article audio. The Bardo the Doll, Liberation Through Hearing During the Intermediate State, is a text from a larger corpus of teachings, the profound dharma of self-liberation through the intention of the peaceful and wrathful ones, revealed by Karma Lingpa. It is the best-known work of Nyingma literature, and is known in the West as the Tibetan Book of the Dead. The Tibetan text describes, and is intended to guide one through, the experiences that the consciousness has after death, in the bardo, the interval between death and the next rebirth. The text also includes chapters on the signs of death and rituals to undertake when death is closing in or has taken place. Etymology Original text Liberation by hearing in the intermediate states. Natural liberation through understanding in the between. The great liberation through hearing in the bardo. Whilst bardo may refer specifically to the intermediate state between death and rebirth, Tibetan literature refers to six bardos living, dreaming, meditative stabilization, dying, reality itself, and becoming. Dr. B. Allen Wallace, in his translation of the Bardo literature, notes, when the Tibetan term Bardo refers specifically to the phase following death and prior to rebirth, one can usefully translate the term as intermediate state. But in the context of the six Bardos, which include all of S.A., Sarah and Nerva, A., the term intermediate state no longer makes sense as a translation for the word bardo. In this context, the significance of the term bardo is in indicating that all phases of living, meditating, dreaming, and so on without exception are transitional. All these phases of life and death occur between other states. All of them are in process. To reflect this aspect of the term, the term bardo has been translated as transitional process in these contexts, bardo equals interlude, intermediate state. Translation of the Sanskrit Antarabhava This term refers to any situation in between one major situation and the one following it. E.g., the interlude between death in one life and birth in another. Note that it does not only refer to the interlude between one life and the next. It is much more general than that, it means a particular situation which is the interlude between one situation before and one after. Many interludes are spoken of in Buddhist literature, especially in the Rniang Ma Paniang Mapa Tantras where four are commonly taught and six are also mentioned. The term is regularly translated as intermediate state. That is not mistaken but is fairly clunky. The Sanskrit original term means antara in between two things and bhava something that has come about, a type of existence. Robert Thurman translates bardo as the between. He says the term is used in at least three senses its basic colloquial sense of the whole period between death and rebirth, its technical sense in the set of the six betweens, the life, dream, meditation, death point, reality, and existence betweens, and in the sense of phase of a between, where the experience of a particular period in one of the six betweens is itself called a between, Dorhi, Coleman, and Jinpsa also gloss bardo as intermediate state. They note, the original usage of the term within the literature of classical Buddhist Abhidharma suggests that it referred exclusively to the period between the time of death and the time of rebirth. According to the Nyingma and Kajihu schools, however, the term intermediate state refers to key phases of life and death identified as the intermediate state of living, the intermediate state of meditative concentration, the intermediate state of dreams, the intermediate state of the time of death, the intermediate state of reality and the intermediate state of rebirth. During each of these phases, 
the consciousness of a sentient being has particular experiential qualities, and corresponding to these qualities of experience there are specific meditative techniques conducive to realization of the ultimate nature of mind and phenomena. Thus GROL is one of the six types of liberation according to the Nyingma Tantras, which are, 1 Thas Gra liberation through hearing, 2 Tags Gra liberation through wearing, 3 Mthong Gra liberation through seeing, 4 Dran Gra liberation through remembering, 5 Myong Gra liberation through tasting, 6 Reg Gra liberation through touching. GROL liberation, is synonymous with the term nirvana, blowing out, extinction, the extinction of illusion. According to Tibetan tradition, the liberation through hearing during the intermediate state was composed in the 8th century by Padme Samhava, written down by his primary student, Yeshe Tsajil buried in the Gampo Hills in central Tibet and subsequently discovered by a Tibetan Turdan, Karma Lingpa, in the 14th century. The Tibetan title is Bar Du Thas Graal, liberation through hearing during the intermediate state. It consists of two comparatively long texts. Origins and Dating Within the texts themselves, the two combined are referred to as liberation through hearing in the bardo, great liberation through hearing, or just liberation through hearing. It is part of a larger terma cycle, profound dharma of self-liberation through the intention of the peaceful and wrathful ones, popularly known as Karma Lingpa's peaceful and wrathful ones. Bar do thas grawl. The profound dharma of self-liberation is known in several versions, containing varying numbers of sections and subsections, and arranged in different orders, ranging from around 10 to 38 titles. The individual texts cover a wide range of subjects, including meditation instructions, visualizations of deities, liturgies and prayers, lists of mantras, descriptions of the signs of death, indications of future rebirth, and texts such as the Bar Du Thas Graal that are concerned with the Bardo state. The Bardo the Dal differentiates the intermediate state between lives into three Bardos. The liberation through hearing during the intermediate state also mentions three other Bardos. Kargling Jikro Together these six bardas form a classification of states of consciousness into six broad types. Any state of consciousness can form a type of intermediate state, intermediate between other states of consciousness. Indeed, one can consider any momentary state of consciousness a bardo, since it lies between our past and future existences, it provides us with the opportunity to experience reality, which is always present but obscured by the projections and confusions that are due to our previous unskillful actions. 3. Bardas The Bar Du Thas Graal is known in the West as the Tibetan Book of the Dead, a title popularized by Walter Evans Wentz S. edition, but as such virtually unknown in Tibet. The Tibetan Book of the Dead was first published in 1927 by Oxford University Press. Dr. Walter Y. Evans Wentz chose this title because of the parallels he found with the Egyptian Book of the Dead. English Translations According to John Merton Reynolds, Evans Wentz's edition of the Tibetan Book of the Dead introduced a number of misunderstandings about Dzogchen. In fact, Evans Wentz collected seven texts about visualization of the after-death experiences and he introduced this work collection as the Tibetan Book of Death. Evans Wentz was well acquainted with theosophy and used this framework to interpret the translation of the Tibetan Book of the Dead, which was largely provided by two Tibetan lamas who spoke English, Lama Sum Don Paul and Lama Lobzang Ming Nur Dorhi.
Evans Wentz was not familiar with Tibetan Buddhism, and his view of Tibetan Buddhism was fundamentally neither Tibetan nor Buddhist, but Theosophical and Vedantist. He introduced a terminology into the translation which was largely derived from Hinduism, as well as from his Theosophical beliefs. Contrary to the general belief spread in the West by Evans Wentz, in Tibetan Buddhist practice the Tibetan Book of Dead is not read to the people who are passing away, but it is rather used during life by those who want to learn to visualize what will come after death. C. G. Jung's psychological commentary first appeared in an English translation by R. F. C. Hull in the third revised and expanded Evans Wentz edition of the Tibetan Book of the Dead. The commentary also appears in the collected works. Jung applied his extensive knowledge of Eastern religion to craft a commentary specifically aimed at a Western audience unfamiliar with Eastern religious tradition in general and Tibetan Buddhism specifically. He does not attempt to directly correlate the content of the Bardo the Dal with rituals or dogma found in Occidental religion, but rather highlights karmic phenomena described on the Bardo plane and shows how they parallel unconscious contents encountered in the West, particularly in the context of analytical psychology. Jung's comments should be taken strictly within the realm of psychology, and not that of theology or metaphysics. Indeed, he warns repeatedly of the dangers for Western man in the wholesale adoption of Eastern religious traditions such as yoga. Evans Wentz's The Tibetan Book of the Dead The Psychedelic Experience, published in 1964, is a guide for LSD trips, written by Timothy Leary, Ralph Metzner and Richard Alpert, loosely based on Evan Wentz's translation of the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Aldous Huxley introduced the Tibetan Book of the Dead to Timothy Leary. According to Leary, Metzer and Albert, the Tibetan Book of the Dead is a key to the innermost recesses of the human mind, and a guide for initiates, and for those who are seeking the spiritual path of liberation. They construed the effect of LSD as a stripping away of ego defenses, finding parallels between the stages of death and rebirth in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, and the stages of psychological death and rebirth which Leary had identified during his research. According to Leary, Metzer and Albert it is one of the oldest and most universal practices for the initiate to go through the experience of death before he can be spiritually reborn. Symbolically he must die to his past, and to his old ego, before he can take his place in the new spiritual life into which he has been initiated. Other Translations and Summaries Popular Influence Bardu Sanskrit Antarabhava, Intermediate State, Transitional State, In-Between State, Liminal State. Valdez, used loosely, the term bardo refers to the state of existence intermediate between two lives on Earth. Valdez, concept arose soon after the Buddha's passing with a number of earlier Buddhist groups accepting the existence of such an intermediate state while other schools rejected it. Thos Grol, Liberation Through Hearing The Tibetan noun Thos Pa means hearing, and Grol means liberation. The Psychedelic Experience Musical and Cinematic Works Notes Great Liberation Through Hearing, The Supplication of the Bardo of Dharmata the Bardo of Dharmata, Great Liberation Through Hearing, The Supplication Pointing Out the Bardo of Existence, The Bardo of Existence. Sources Printed Sources Web Sources <laughs>